So I just wanted to say this because, um, not that I give a fuck at all. Like, what I'm about to say, what these people have said or whatever doesn't affect me in any way. Like, their opinion is not going to stop me from whatever that I plan to do in my life. But there are people that who are about to have weight loss surgery, who are thinking about having weight loss surgery, who've been struggling with their weight for years just like I was. I waited 10 years to have weight loss surgery because it was really hard for me to actually um, get approved for it because I wasn't fat enough or whatever. But I digress on that specific topic. So what I came to say is that People think that because you have weight loss surgery, that somehow it's this quick fix that literally, and I used to be one of these people, I'm not going to lie, years ago before I even did my research, I thought, oh, this person lost weight, oh, they had weight loss surgery, it's easy for them, you know. Of course you lost a bunch of weight, you can't eat that much. Okay, I'm going to say this, so weight loss surgery doesn't um, tap you on the shoulder and tell you, hey. Don't eat that at 10 p.m. at night. Don't eat that Bluebell ice cream at 10 p.m. at night. It doesn't tell you you need to drink your water. Matter of fact, it's very difficult to drink your water at the beginning on your weight loss journey. And now Louie is tearing everything up. Hey, stop it. So, you know, just because somebody had weight loss surgery doesn't mean that that's the, it, that's the reason why they lost weight. Like, yeah, at first, you can't eat shit. Like, for two months, you can't eat anything. Um, and, you know, yeah, you're going to lose some weight. But that's just like 20 pounds. After that, you have to make the conscious effort to eat healthy foods, eat foods that are going to nourish your body, take your vitamins, drink your water. That's like one of the most important things. Weight loss surgery is a tool that helps you continue to make better choices. Um, many people stretch out their stomachs after they have weight loss surgery. Um, weight loss surgery doesn't tell me, hey, don't eat that junk food. It doesn't drive me to the gym. It doesn't make me search 20-minute uh, workout videos on YouTube when I'm too busy to go to the gym. Um, weight loss surgery doesn't take me to therapy or make me journal or, um, you know, express my feelings or, or, or reach or, um, face my fears. It, it doesn't do that. It's, it's a tool. It's kind of like when you buy the energy drink or whatever, and you know that you need the energy drink because maybe you have a long day at work and you didn't get a lot of rest the night before. Um, that's a tool to help you get your work done. Um, the, the energy drink didn't make your hourly wage for you, right? The energy drink assisted you into making a better decision. It motivated you to be able to stay up, to do your work, to go to work or whatever it is. Um, when you buy a, a curling iron to curl your hair. So did the curling iron curl your hair for you? Like it just got up got the the products that it needs and walked up and climbed up on top of your shoulder and did your hair. You, you didn't do it. The, the curling iron did it. Um, so anywho, um, for anybody who is thinking about having weight loss surgery, who's had weight loss surgery, um, who is about to have weight loss surgery, people are going to say that. They're going to say, oh, you're... Your journey ain't nothing because, you know, you had weight loss surgery. And I'm going to tell you something. Weight loss surgery ain't no bitch. That shit hurts. Like, it hurts for, like, fucking four or five days. Like, you can't, like, it, it hurts your chest. Like, you feel like you had surgery. I've had four surgeries um, other than my uh, weight loss surgery. I've had C-sections and all that shit hurts. The, the trap gas and shit like that. Like... I'm just really, I felt like I needed to say this because people are always telling people that because they had weight loss surgery, 
you ain't really done nothing. Weight loss surgery ain't made me work out. Weight loss surgery ain't made me when I have when I when I have to go buy my kids something to eat that that they want. Uh, it doesn't stop me from not eating it. It doesn't tell me, you know, hey, you know, it's gonna be okay. You're just dealing with your your emotions right now, and you just need to give yourself a break or do something else. Um, weight loss surgery does not do that. Um, also something that I guess people don't understand after a period of time, weight loss surgery, the tool is no longer effective. So basically what it does, it gives you a kickstart so you can get your shit together. That's what weight loss surgery does. It does not do it for you. Some people who've had like, let's say the lap band, for example, I had the vertical sleeve gastrectomy. Some people who've had the lap band, it might slip and which is very fucking dangerous because you could literally be malnourished and not even know it. You can't even eat anything. That's not, my my sleeve is not doing that. Um, some people who've had vertical sleeve have had complications. Um, you know, it's very risky. It's not just easy to go in there and lay down and, and get the surgery done. Like, it's not easy to do. And it's not so easy that people are just like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna go have weight loss surgery because, you know, it's just... I'm just gonna do that this week like it's a life-changing situation like you you are on it is a journey it is to get to where you need to be i'm doing this to get to a healthy bmi so that i can be here longer for my kids because i had weight loss surgery i found out that i was in liver failure had no idea um before that i had no signs of being unhealthy other than being overweight extremely overweight morbidly obese um 251 pounds and because I was able to still do stuff that allowed me to continue to be like that but anyway that was just on my mind and I needed to say that weight loss surgery doesn't wake me up or weight loss surgery don't wake me up in the morning weight loss surgery doesn't tell me to drink my water weight loss surgery doesn't tell me to eat high protein and uh, make sure I'm taking my vitamins and make sure I'm getting my sleep and um you know, make sure that I'm working on myself internally because no matter what diet you do, no matter what exercise you do, if you're not correct in your mind where you need to be internally, you will forever not be able to become complete or stay complete. That's why I've lost weight so many times and never been able to keep it off because I wasn't working on my issues that I had with myself, with my past, um, like not going to therapy, avoiding, you know, uh, things that might cause me distress and distress, distress and make me emotional. Um, you know, so it's not, it's not a quick fix. Um, I'm still struggling. I still struggle to eat stuff I shouldn't eat. I still struggle to overeat, even though I had weight loss surgery. I'm seven months post-op. You can overeat. Like, I don't know why people think that you can't eat baby because listen i could eat a whole pint of ice cream like so if it's just quick fix and it's so easy then i shouldn't be able to eat a whole fucking pint of ice cream like anyway i'm hoping this helps somebody if you are on your journey ignore all that noise and do your shit because this is gonna change your life for the better. Don't wait any longer because life does not stop. Time does not stop for anybody. But yes, so thank you guys for watching this and go follow me on IG, Instagram at Natalie Ladine underscore VSG. I post my journey on there. And um, I also post on my YouTube, of course. Um, I need to post more, but you guys, yes. So. Have a good Thursday. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Bye.